Hello, my name is Daniel Sofner, and in this short demo, I will show how to use the Web Content Crawler connector in Salesforce Data Cloud to ingest content from a website into the vector database in Salesforce Data Cloud, and then use content from that website in the context of an agent in Agent Force. The website that I will ingest is the site containing the FAQs for this year's Dreamforce conference with information about the event, registration, sessions, certification, reserved seating, bootcamp, accommodations, travel, as well as accessibility. The first step is to set up the web content crawler connector in the data cloud setup. When you click on new connector and scroll down, you will see you have two connectors, uh, a crawler connector to ingest the website content, as well as a sitemap connector utilizing the sitemap of your website. In the configuration of your crawler connector, you specify a connection name, an authentication method if required, um, or if not required, uh, select none and just provide the URL for your website. In this case, it's the FAQ page for Dreamforce. Next step is to create a new data lake object in Data Cloud based on external files. In this case, the web content crawler connection that we created earlier, and then additional configuration details about the depth of the website that needs to be ingested into Data Cloud. That is the crawl depth, um, as well as potentially included page elements and a regular expression uh, specifying how many web pages should be included. This creation process will create a couple of objects, one DLO as well as three DMOs containing the chunks um, of the content that we just ingested from the website. It will also create a search index as well as a retriever that we now can use inside of an Asian Force agent to retrieve content from the ingested website. Next step is to create a new prompt template of type flex with an input, which is a free text term called FAQ search and the LLM that we're using inside of the prompt template. Uh, the instructions in the prompt template are relatively straightforward. We say that this text below contains snippets from the Dreamforce event FAQ that were found for the following search term. That is the input from the user. Use this information to provide a summary of the response in natural language. Prioritize results that match the search term well. If the response does not match the search well, then exclude it. And uh, the results are, the, are coming from uh, the search index, uh, utilizing the retriever that we just uh, created earlier in Einstein Studio. Now let's ask our first question. For example, how can I cancel my Dreamforce registration? And the agent will invoke the topic, the Dreamforce event FAQ topic, and will retrieve details from the website that we ingested earlier with the necessary details about the process for canceling the Dreamforce registration and if we compare that with the original FAQ website that we ingested earlier, we will see that the answer is taken directly from the FAQ that we ingested. Say if we ask a question such as how accessible is Dreamforce? The agent will summarize all the content from the website with regards to accessibility and taking that information directly from the website and from the accessibility section. Thank you very much for listening.